Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Wabi Snipe, back with a video. In this video, I'm going to be bringing to you guys another top 10 video where I'm going to be telling you guys the top 10 players under 100,000 MT that you guys should consider getting on your teams in NBA 2K19 My Team. So welcome back guys, and this is now episode 3 of this little mini top 10 series that I have going on a channel. In episode 1, we did the top 10 players under 50,000 MT. In episode 2, last week, we did a, the top 5 alternative cards in the game. And now, welcome back as episode 3, now on the channel, on the series, we have the top 10 players under 100,000 MT. Before we hop into this episode guys, I do want to take a quick second and thank you guys for all the support and love you guys have been showing on this series. When I first started this series, I didn't think you guys would want to see it, but you guys showed love on the first two videos, a lot of love, and a lot of comments saying you guys wanted me to continue this series. So with that being said, we're going to be doing just that and we're going to be uploading this top 10 series once a week from now on. And let me know in the comments below guys, which top 10 episode you guys would like to see next. I had a couple comments in the last video saying do under 100,000 MT, and that's what we're going to be doing in this video. But let me know for next video, what would you guys like to see for the, not, for the next top 10 series episode. And you guys, these players are in no specific order. These guys are just 10 players under 100,000 MT that are really, really good cards that you guys should consider getting on your squad. So, let's hop into it. As number one player on this list, we have ourselves a pink diamond throwback elite. Clyde Drexler. This card came out in a Larry Bird promo the other day. He was the other pink diamond alongside Larry Bird that dropped and right now he is going for 90,000 MT it looks like. Looks like 91 so far is the lowest. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay. 89,000 right here is the cheapest one up and this card right here is a complete W for that price. He's a 98 overall, 6 foot 7 shooting guard with 10 Hall of Fame badges. That is crazy. And those and it's like 10 good Hall of Fame badges. Like difficult shots, posterizer, relentless finish. Those are 10 and even catch and shoot on Hall of Fame, a shooting badge. Those 10 Hall of Fame badges are very solid. On top of that, his attributes are amazing. 96 mid-range, 88 open 3 without any boost. Money jump shot as well. 98 driving dunk, 97 contact dunk, 87 ball control with get speed boost. Great defense, 95 defensive consistency, 95 steal. This card right here is a complete W for 89,000 MT. You know, these, this man is definitely somebody you guys should consider getting on your team. That Clyde Drexler is literally amazing, guys. He's off the bench for me. And now moving on to the second player on this list, we have a Diamond Paul George. But in more specific, to be more specific on which Paul George I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Diamond Paul George with 97 steel. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that there are currently three Diamond Moments Paul George. He's had an amazing season all year long, and he's had multiple Moments cards. I mean, just it speaks for itself. Three Moments cards right here. But the one that I'm talking about that I think you guys should get is the one right here with the with the in, in his black jersey with the three point symbol next to his face. This is the one I'm talking about. This Paul George right here unfortunately comes with zero Hall of Fame badges, but he is a six foot nine small four, which is amazing, and his attributes as well are great. 97 mid-range, 89 open through without any boost, 79 free throw, 85 driving dunk. He can speed boost as well. 97 steel, which separates him from the other two Paul Georges. Like you can easily make a case and say that this card is just as good as the Pink Diamond Paul George. I know that sounds like a stretch, but the only thing that the Pink Diamond Paul George has over this card. It's for one, it's way more expensive, and two, you know, a few Hall of Fame badges, but none of them being really, really important to a point where it's 200,000 MT more. You know, this Paul George is almost just as good as the Pink Diamond. This card being number two on the list is Diamond Paul George with 97 steel. It's completely amazing. Coming in at number three on this list, we have Pink Diamond Pistol Pete Maravich. This card right now is going for 76,000 MT. He was a part of the March Madness promo. This man is simply an offensive machine. His defense is a little suspect, but offensively this card is literally a machine. 97 overall shooting guard, 6 foot 5, which is a solid size. I didn't really mean to rhyme, that kind of came accidentally. <laughs> but he does come with 8 Hall of Fame badges, and 2 of them being probably the most important Hall of Fame badges in the game. Deep range at eye and limitless range, as well as difficult shots as well. And his attributes are just phenomenal. 95 mid range, 97 3, 95 free throw. Only a 50 driving dunk, but honestly, when I did a game plan on him, you guys could see for yourself. He was throwing down some slams. 96 ball control, so you guys can also run him as a point guard. The only little bit of a flaw in this card is his defense. He has an he has an 87 defensive consistency, but it feels kind of worse than that, just in my opinion. 
Moving on to the fourth player now on this list. For those of you guys who came here looking for a point guard, you guys are in luck because this fourth player is a phenomenal point guard with great size. And this man being a Diamond Penny Hardaway. Diamond Penny Hardaway right now looks like he's going for, okay, 2 for 29,000 rest up for 35. Looks like he's going for around, safe to say, 30,000 MT. And this card is a matchup nightmare. Now, the reason why I say that is because he's a 6'7 point guard. You know, aside from Magic Johnson, it's going to be really, really hard for guys like Stephen Curry and Kyrie Irving to stand in front of this man because how, of how, how tall he is and Penny's size. 95 midi, which is money, 85 open three, and 86 driving duck. But honestly, guys, for those of you guys who use Penny Hardaway and know how Gucci he was last year and this year as well, that 86 driving duck is a complete lie. He really has like a 99 driving duck. Ducky animations Penny Hardaway gets is just crazy every year in 2K. Proof in the pudding, guys. He comes with 100 driving and 100 flashy dunk tendency. So it's really like having a 99 driving dunk. 94 ball control, which is great. 93 steal, so you know he's a he's a he can rip any point guard really. 95 speed, 95 speed with ball for a six foot seven point guard. That is very, very scary. 93 lateral quickness, 95 defensive consistency, 98 offensive consistency. I did not do a game plan on this card, but when I used him. He's literally a machine. Moving on to number five on this list. We're going to make this guy's, you know, little introduction very, very short, sweet, and simple. He does not need any introduction. This man being an Amethyst, he do Turkaloo. Right now, he is going for 32,000 MT is the cheapest. 34 is the next cheapest. But guys, if, you, if you're rocking out with an Amethyst team, a Diamond team, and, a, and you have a couple pink diamonds sprinkled in there, Get yourself a Hidu Turkle. This man is literally a pink diamond in the Amethyst tier. There's no way to put it. He does not need an introduction. I don't need to go into him. I did it in my last top 10 video. But guys, if you don't have yourself a Hidu Turkle and you're running out with an Amethyst and Diamond team, I don't need to give him an introduction. You guys just need to get him on your team. And I'm sure a lot of you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys have trouble defending him. You guys, you guys know how good this card is. Out of all players on this list, I, this guy would be the number one guy I suggest picking up out of everybody. Moving on to the sixth player on this list, and guys, this guy right here is a lot cheaper than a lot of the cards on this list, and he's a great defender as well, so for those of you guys looking for a lockdown defender, this should be a guy you guys should definitely consider picking up. This man being a diamond Bob Love. He's a 6 foot 8 power forward, he is slightly undersized, but he can easily run a small forward position. He comes with defensive stopper on Hall of Fame, which is rare. You don't see a lot of people coming with Hall of Fame defensive stopper for being only 30,000 MT, you know. And not only that, but he comes with a 95 mid-range and 85 open three. And about this man's jump shot, he has like the same base as J.R. Smith's. A very, very similar jump shot to the Amethyst and Pink Diamond J.R. Smith. And on top of that, he's very athletic as well. 85 driving dunk, 85 contact dunk, 95 driving dunk tendency, 95 flashing dunk tendency. This man is great offensively. 95 block, 95 steal, rebounding very solid as well. 90 defense rebound, 93 box out, 83 speed, 95 stamina, 95 defensive consistency, 98 offensive consistency. You guys get this man. You guys can see how good this man is. A lot of people don't use this card. This man right here is easily one of the most underrated cards in the game. I barely see a lot of people using him. But for the people who do use him and use him right, he is a very, very great card in the game. And for 30,000 MT, 29,000 MT, this man for his price is absolutely phenomenal. Super, super good for his price. Now moving on to player number seven on this list. And this man as well is super, super amazing for his price. Not really similar to a Bob Love card, kind of a different type of play style, but still amazing card for his price. This man being a diamond Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward right now is going for 21,000 MT. Right now is the cheapest on the block. And this man right here is simply an offensive machine. You can play him at the small forward or shooting guard position. And he is a problem at both. Coming in with a great size at 6'8". Four Hall of Fame badges. Catch and shoot, Tyler score, mid-range Jedi, and difficult shots. No diamond in the game has more than two Hall of Fame badges. This man Gordon Hayward has the most Hall of Fame badges for a diamond card in the game. On top of that, 95 mid-range, 93 open three with gold limitless already equipped for this man. So you don't have to go out and spend 12,000 MT to max this man out to gold limitless. He already comes with it. With the, coach, with the coach boost, boom, 98 open shot three. 85 driving dunk, which is solid because this is the man from the Utah Jazz days. If it was a Celtics card, he wouldn't have this good of stats because he's not having the best season for the Celtics. You know, it's, it really sucks about his injury. He's not having the best year with the Celtics, but this is the Utah Jazz, Gordon Hayward, the athletic. Gordon Hayward, 86 ball control, get speed boost. I did a gameplay on this man. I'm sure some of you guys saw gameplays on him. For only 20,000 MT, this man is going for. This man is absolutely ridiculous. 
for his price. For, you, for those of you guys who like having an Amethyst team, you know, and you need to upgrade to a Diamond team, start off upgrading with that Gordon Hayward card, this Gordon Hayward card, because this man is phenomenal for his price. Jumping into the eighth player on this list, we're gonna go with the 20th anniversary King Diamond Magic Johnson, who you can make a case and say he's easily the best point guard in the game. This Magic Johnson card is currently going for 75,000 MT, is the lowest up right now. And there is a better version of Magic, but honestly, they're literally just as good. The only thing that the 98 Magic has over this card is a couple more Hall of Fame badges as well as a better three ball. But aside from that, they're pretty much identical cards. They're pretty much the exact same card. Coming in at number nine, second to last on this list, I'm gonna go with a Diamond Kevin Durant Moments card. Diamond KD is currently going for 80,000 MT at the cheapest. The next cheapest is 84,000 MT. This man right here isn't as good as his Pink Diamond, but it's still really, really good. He is definitely a step up from his Amethyst card, definitely. And this man right here is a complete guard, complete card who you guys can pretty much play at every at any position except center, obviously. And this, this man's gonna be a matchup matchup nightmare. Coming in at number 10 on this list, we're going to cap it off with a big man. This card's a little bit pricey, which is why I kind of saved him for last. But with that being said, you can easily make a case and say he's a top 5 big man in the game easily. This man being an Amethyst Kristaps Porzingis. The reason why I say he's a little bit pricey, guys, is because the cheapest one up right now is 80,000 MT. I'm sure you guys can catch one up there for, you know, 70,000 MT at the cheapest. But right now, the cheapest up, sadly, is 80,000 MT. But this man right here is a six foot three power forward who can easily run center. Seven foot three, I repeat, seven foot three, which means he can pretty much guard everything. Even Shaq, Pink Diamond Shaq. This man can hang with why? Because he has a height, he has a height advantage over Shaq and the wide wingspan, the length. Comes with 90 open three. You get a coach and shoe boost, boom. Seven three power forward slash center. You can run pick and phase all game long with, with 99 open three and gold limitless range. That is a complete W. Like, when it comes down to it, would I rather pay 300,000 MT for a Pink Diamond Shaq or 80,000 MT for an Amethyst Porzingis? I'm going to choose an Amethyst Porzingis for 80,000 MT. So, yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. To conclude this video, I will recap and tell you guys the top 10 players again. We have Pink Diamond Clyde Drexler, a Diamond Kevin Durant, Diamond Paul George with 97 steel, Amethyst Hidu Turkoglu, the Pink Diamond Pete Maravich, Diamond Penny Hardaway, Amethyst Kristaps, Pink Diamond Magic, Diamond Gordon Hayward, and a Diamond Bob Love. And that rounds off the top 10 players of under 100,000 MT that you guys should get on your team in NBA 2K19 My Team. Which is also going to now conclude episode 3 of this top 10 series. I will have another one up probably a week from today. A week from today, which is Sunday. So next Sunday, I will likely have another top 10 video up. So with that being said, let me know in the comments below which top 10 you guys like to see next. Because trust me when I say this, I do read all your comments. And I do try my absolute best to respond to all of them. Now that officially sums it up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all of the support on this series. I really mean that for real. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. And it's Wabi and I'm out. Peace.